Hey, what is going on viewers? Zesty Lime Studios here and welcome back to another Jinx review. Today we're viewing another one of these Zyber energies, but this one is going to be on the orange energy and it's going to be on the mango and passion fruit flavour. So if you guys are enjoying the video and the content, don't forget to check out my Patreon. The link to that will be in the description below as well if you want to consider supporting me and the channel. Anyway, so yes, Zyber Energy. So basically at the time of doing this video, Bar no longer owned Rockstar Energy. So they've departed with Rockstar. And now because of that, Bar are bringing out their own energy drinks, which are these Zyber Energies. So there's also a original blend of this and there's also a berries and cherry variant to this as well. Once I've uploaded both of them, they will be in the description as well to go and watch. But anyways, today, like I said, we are doing the, uh, what's it, yeah, the mango and passion fruit one. So it cost me price marked 89p and I got this drink out of a random corner shop up in Newcastle actually, which is about four hours, uh, four and a half hours for me. So yeah, quite a way away, but I'm sure it's going to obviously spread out to other shops um, seeing as Bar have just released it. So anyways, let's give you guys a full 360 of the can. So we have not quite a nice, simple, but quite kind of a nice, you know, can looking design. We have the front of the can repeated twice. Like I said, we've got the price marked 89p at the top, which, you know, is 10p cheaper than Rockstar's drink. So I guess that's a little dig at Rockstar, seeing as the Rockstars are always, you know, 99p in corner shops. So I guess I'm the cut them by 10 pence. Isn't that funny? Um, <laughs> we got all the, the facts and stuff on the back. And like I said, we've just got the front repeated twice. Most of the can is in this kind of nice shiny black. And then we've got the Zyber logo, which is, I guess it, it is an X, but it's got kind of lots of lines going into the middle to make an X. So it does look really, really cool for an X. And then of course you've got Zyber. And imagine coming up with that name for your, uh, I mean, Zyber is a word, but having it spelt like that, Zy, I think it's Zyber, I mean, assume it is, but uh, it's quite an interesting name to think up, isn't it? In the, uh, in the offices, shall I say. And as I said, this is, you know, ingredients and stuff on the back. On the bottom, we have nothing. And on the top, everything's all finished and nice black as well. And also going around the top of the can, which is around here, we have the stuff like caffeine, taurine, B vitamins and zinc. So anyways, let's have a close look at the back of the can. So unfortunately, there is no story. There is no kind of, I don't know, trivia stuff on there. It's literally just purely nutritional information which is a shame because they could have started a different trend kind of like monster do with their stories and stuff they could have put a couple of jokes on here or you know just start started a new trend with energy drinks they had, they had a clean state to start but you know they they chose not to let's see so reading the ingredients so carbonated fruit flavored energy drink yep with sweetener and uh, let's have a quick look right so in the ingredients we have let's see carbonated water sugar what sweetness do we have? We only have so close and so flame K, so there's no spartan maybe, which is good. Now, these are half sugar drinks because of the sugar tax, so these aren't full sugar and these aren't sugar free either. So, this drink contains 4.3 grams of sugar per 100 ml. The turtle can contains 22 grams. So, they've also chosen to go down the kind of half sugar route rather than the sugar free route, which I don't know really. It seems all three of their flavors they bring out, they're all half sugar. So I don't know whether it was the right choice to make them half sugar or make them sugar free, but you know, we'll have to make our minds up about that. We have some vitamins. We have, uh, what do we have? We have niacin, vitamin B6, B12, magnesium, and zinc, but no panophenic acid, which is interesting. Caffeine content is the same and average for most drinks, which is 32 milligrams per 100 ml. So there's no change there. And apart from that, yeah, there is uh, nothing else interesting on the cam. Unfortunately, it's just simple old, this is no information. Anyways, it's nice and cold. I have got a cup and uh, let's get straight into it. Hopefully it won't explode over me. So let's see, mango and passion fruit. Well, this is obviously pretty generic in terms of flavor and stuff. So, I mean, it's probably going to taste one or the other, but let's, I don't know. I'm guessing probably more towards the mango side because it's generally the cheaper fruit to use, but we will find out. And I'm guessing the color is going to be some sort of orange as well. Right, don't explode. There we go. They're quite looking forward to this actually, because I was, you know, without spoiling the, the video, I've already, I've already reviewed the original of this, and I say I was, you know, I was quite impressed by it. So I'm looking forward to this one as well. And the colour is uh, okay. Definitely not expecting that colour. Bright yellow. My goodness. So there wasn't much fizz on the top there, but there seems to be a fair few bubbles on the side. But yes, the colour is indeed bright yellow. I was definitely not expecting that for a mango and passion fruit. I was definitely expecting more of an orangey 
color but there you go it's kind of cloudy you can kind of see my you can kind of see through it it's not 100 percent you know non see through. it's just got a bit of bit of cloudiness to it so anyways let's give it a closer smell now and see what we can smell of Mm, smells really really fruity smells really really nice and you can definitely smell the mangoes and to be fair you can smell a little bit of passion fruit in there as well now i like both mango and passion fruit as as, as a well not really a fruit but i like the juice of it so you know i do like the smell of it yeah it's a good mix of both there you can smell the mango and then the passion fruit comes out really nice smell this is going to be really nice i, I hope mm, yeah smells lovely cool well nevertheless guys let's taste some Oh, oh wow, that aftertaste. Oh my God, that is really strong aftertaste. Mm. It's got quite a really, it's got quite a strong flavor in it. Mm. Wow. Wow, that is really strong. I'm really impressed by that. Hmm. That is nice though. That is nice. Hmm. So initial reaction, like I like I kind of said the, the first sip, it's really, really strong. It's got really strong flavour in there, and I'll get to that in a second as well. Uh let's start for the sugar and soup wise. So soupy wise, it doesn't it doesn't seem that syrupy to be honest with you. It seems like there's maybe a little bit of soup in there, and I could be completely wrong and it might not have any, but it just feels like it's got a little bit of syrup in there. But sugar wise. I think overall it's not really it doesn't taste of that kind of sugar sweet which you get but it definitely has got sugar in it but i think because the flavor of this drink is so strong i guess the kind of little bit of sugar in there is kind of helping the overall flavor of the drink kind of you know boast up to what the actual flavor is so anyways yeah the flavor of the drink itself so of course you've got beginning the midsection ending and the aftertaste over the drink so throughout the whole drink the flavor is really really strong there's a really strong flavor throughout the whole drink which i'm really impressed by but the beginning kind of midsection, you get more towards the kind of, you get more of a passion fruit kind of flavor at the beginning towards the midsection with kind of mango there in the background. And then kind of towards the ending of the drink and the aftertaste, you've kind of got this kind of mango kind of blend kicking in. And then I said, when that aftertaste hits, it, I had a really kind of just, it was like not sharp, but it was kind of just a really, the, fl the flavor just seemed to continue. That's what I'm trying to say. The flavor continued throughout the entire drink and the aftertaste is just that mango definitely sat there as an aftertaste in my mouth so of course you get the whole drink to taste and you get that really strong burst of aftertaste flavor to have as well let me try a bit more yeah passion fruits at the beginning then that mango comes in and then at the end you get the mango yeah, the mango aftertaste. Yeah, that probably just describes it correct. But yes, it is very, very strong flavour. I think a lot of people will probably find this maybe too strong because I'm just impressed at how strong this is for a... Because remember, this isn't advertising it as a... It's not a juice variant of a drink, like, for example, the Monster Juice or the Rubicon Raw Energies. It's it's not it's not saying it's, you know, a juice type because it hasn't got real fruit juice in it from reading the back. So it's, it's kind of like, well, it's purely just a flavoured mango and passion fruit whereas a lot of mango and passion fruit and drinks like this they would be based off a juiced variant but this isn't this isn't a juice drink it literally is just pure flavor so they've really got the flavor spot on here in terms of being really really strong and i've not tasted the flavor this strong for a long time which you know i said i'm quite impressed by so let me toss them out the can as well see what it tastes like cool yeah really strong that passion fruit and then that mango comes in and kicks in at the end of the aftertaste yeah really really strong overall yeah it is strong a lot of people probably will find it too strong and probably a bit over the top but as far as i'm concerned there's no weird flavors with that you know there's no weird chemical taste there's no weird side taste or anything like that you know the mango passion fruit itself tastes nice and real so for that i really can't fault it but yeah probably probably too strong for some people but there's something a bit different and hey it's new from <coughs> excuse me so it's new from cyber so we'll see where we go so yes, I will give that a thumbs up. So as always, viewers, thank you for watching. Like I said, you can check the description below as well. You can follow me on TikTok, Instagram, or Twitter. Or as I already said at the beginning of the video, you can consider checking out my Patreon. Minimum support is one pound, and that will go towards new drinks, which means new videos for the channel. So as always, viewers, I will see you all later.